In this video, we are going to work on problem 4.2.3 from the textbook. We are going to use the mean value theorem to prove that the absolute value of sine of x minus sine of y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus y for all x and y in R. Before solving the problem, let me recall the mean value theorem. This is one of the most important theorems of mathematical analysis. Now we consider a function f defined on an interval a, b. And we suppose that f is continuous on the closed interval a, b and differentiable on the open interval a, b. Then there exists some c in the open interval a, b such that the derivative of the function f at c is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. This is the graph of the function y equals f of x. This is a and this is f of a. This is b and this is f of b. We are looking at the second line connecting these two points. As you know, the slope of this second line is given by f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Okay, now if we take the graph of the function y equals f of x, we will see that there exists some c in between a and b such that a tangent line at this point is parallel to this second line. And as you know, the slope of the tangent line here is equal to the derivative of the function f at c. And you also know that two lines are parallel if and only if they have the same slope. Therefore, the uh, slope of this tangent line is equal to the slope of this second line. So the derivative of the function f at c is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. In this situation, we have seen that there exists some c in the interval a, b such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a over b minus a. Note that in the case where x is not equal to y, the given inequality can be written as follows. The absolute value of sine of x minus sine of y over x minus y is less than or equal to 1. We obtain this by dividing both the sides of this inequality by the absolute value of x minus y. Okay. So this reminds us of the use of the mean value theorem. Note that if this is x, then this is f of x. If this is y, then this is f of y. Then um, the slope of the second line connecting this point and this point is um, f of x minus f of y over x minus y. So we are going to show that the absolute value of uh, m is less than or equal to 1. Okay, and we are going to use the mean value theorem. Now we are ready to solve the problem. Consider the function given by um, f of x is equal to sine of x for um, x in R. Okay. Um, observe that if x is equal to y, then this inequality is satisfied, obviously, because both the sides are zero. Now, we consider the second case where x is not equal to y. And without loss of generality, we can assume that x is less than y. So it suffices to consider the case where x is strictly less than y. Now, by the mean value theorem applied to this function on the interval x, y, as you know, the sine function is um, differentiable everywhere. So um, the hypothesis of the mean value theorem is satisfied. So by the mean value theorem, uh, 
the axis C in the interval x, y such that um, the derivative of the function f at c is equal to f of x minus f of y over x minus y. Notice that this is equal to f of y minus f of x over y minus x. So, um, as you know, um, for this function, the derivative of the function is cosine of x. f prime of x is cosine of x. Therefore, f prime of c is cosine of c. So we are going to replace everything in. So we're going to get that cosine of c is equal to f of x here is sine of x. f of y here is sine of y over x minus y. Okay. Now, if we take the absolute value of both the sides, we are going to have the following. Then, the absolute value of cosine of c is equal to the absolute value of sine of x minus sine of y over x minus y. And as you know, the absolute value of cosine of c is always less than or equal to 1. So this is less than or equal to 1. It follows that the absolute value of sine of x minus sine of y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus y. And we obtain this by multiplying both the sides of this inequality by the absolute value of x minus y. So we have seen that in any case, the absolute value of sine of x minus sine of y is less than or equal to the absolute value of x minus y. So we have completed solving the problem. After solving the problem, we have an important remark. Here we consider a function f defined on an interval a, b. We suppose that f satisfies the hypothesis of the mean value theorem. That means f is continuous on the interval a, b and um, differentiable on the open interval a, b. We also assume that the derivative of the function is bounded by a constant L. That means the absolute value of f prime of x is less than or equal to L for all x in the interval a, b. Here, L is a non-negative constant. By the mean value theorem, um, we can uh, show that the absolute value of f of x minus f of y is less than or equal to L times the absolute value of x minus y for all x and y in the interval a, b. That means the function f is Lipschitz continuous on the interval a, b with Lipschitz constant l. Okay, and the proof is very, very similar to um, the proof of the problem we have solved.